Hey guys, it's Jamie back here again tonight with another makeup look. This is my pink and black kind of springy night out um, look. This look was totally 110% inspired by YouTube user Jersey815. I believe her real name is Val. Um, I'll put a link below for um, to her YouTube page. She's having this contest and it was um, a comment contest or shout out video contest, but um, I just totally, I loved the idea, I loved the colors, I love spraying, and so it really inspired me to make this video and kind of try something new. It's a little bit different than anything I normally would do, um, but I really like it. I totally want to go out and have fun right now. Um, but so, if you like this look and want to know how to get it, just stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Jersey815. Bye. Okay. So let's get started. I kind of did this eye just in total. Oh, I think I'll add this color and maybe then I'll add this color. So we'll see if it works. <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my lid with the e.l.f. primer potion. Um, I just got this and I like it. I found it doesn't work that great when I am working with the... um sparkle palette, but it works really well for this kind of application. Yeah. So put that on, spread it out. It's, it, this is the first time I've used primer and spy in this, and I really like it. It's, I definitely still use my jumble eye pencil base, but I like the potion too. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. It's really messy. And I'm just going to kind of lightly line along my lash line like that. This got really messy when I did it before. Um, and then just kind of blend it in. This isn't necessarily, we're going to put the black color on top of it. This just to give... And I put the black powder, some staying power. You don't want to go up too high with it. Um, but if you do, it's fine. Pink will cover it. Don't do that, though. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's late. I am exhausted. We're buying a house, building a house. And so we spent a lot of our time packing and planning. And I just have not had the time to do this kind of stuff. But I really inspired and wanted to do this so okay <laughs> so we'll give it a shot even though it's kind of late let me brush off my brush that I used before okay that's <clears throat> okay just gonna go in with my regular elf eyeshadow brush and I am going to use any and all pink colors I can find in my elf palette um I'm gonna start with this really bright one can see it. It's like this super bright pigmented pink and I'm just going to kind of go where my crease would and I'm just going to windshield wiper this and I'm going to start back here and just kind of put that on just to give oh, I like that. Um, give it a base for all the millions of other shades of pink that I might decide to throw on it. Um, <clears throat> for the one on the inside to take my bare minerals it's real fluffy and I'm gonna go in with these two colors and kind of start in my tear duct a little bit and work my way out to meet them meet the darker stuff and don't worry if you cover some of the black because we're gonna put eyeshadow down there later okay so now is the fun part of just loading up that pink color and you can make this as extreme or unextreme as you want. I'm going to take some more shades from this palette, some pinkies, a little bit of purples, and just really load up on the pink. The colors that I just pulled are this one and this one. And that one. It's probably a little confusing since I'm holding it sideways, but it'll be okay. And then I'm also going to throw this color on. It's 
got a little bit more purple to it. I'm just going to put that up right in the sides. Really give that some depth. Okay, now I'm going to take, brush it off just a little bit, <clears throat> my really small stiff shadow brush and I'm going to go into my matte black just real lightly. And I'm going to put some black shadow on top of the black. Notice I don't go all the way into the corner, the inner corner. But go to the outer one and just kind of pat that on. And then so that's on. I'm going to go, there's like a really dark gray between the light gray and the matte black in this palette and I'm going to go into that. It's a really dark gray. It's like a light black dark gray. And I'm going to go on top of that black and kind of just smoke that out a little bit. And I'm going to pull that down underneath my eyes, not all the way. Sorry if I'm always like looking off behind the camera. There's my big old mirrors back there and you now and then I catch myself. So now that I've got the black on really well, I'm going to go back with my pink color and just blend the two. I'm noticing my pinks are a little bit different. I think I must have thrown different colors <laughs> on this one. So I'm going to go back just to match them all up. And I'm I'm just going to take that lighter pink brush that we used from earlier and just kind of put some of the pink underneath there. Okay. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to go in on the first row on the bottom. I'm going to go two and three up. I'm going to mix those colors together. They're a real pinky white. I'm going to use that for my highlight and kind of blend because that the pink's a little strong, but I like it. I think it's fun. I think if I was going out, girls' night, you know, like those first couple of nights, and you and your girlfriends go out, and it's summer and nice out, and you get to wear flip flops and pretty dresses, but it, you're still kind of going out at night. I think this is really pretty for it. So I'm just going to curl my eyes, my lashes, real quick. I am not going to line my eyes because I don't want it to be, like, obviously they're kind of already lined with the shadow. I don't want to go in and line my water lines or make it any more of a defined line. I like it smoked like this. And I'm just going to take my Maybelline Full and Soft and put on some quick mascara. concealer on because I didn't have any on before I did this. So I just washed my face to get another look off. And so I'm going to go in with my concealer. It'll help find that line a little bit and get everything nice and cleaned up. And then I'm going to take a flat stiffle brush, um, just a little bit stiffly, and I'm going to grab a really, it's underneath my camera, I'll take a picture of the blush color I'm using later. It's from Ulta, I don't have the name of it, and I'm just going to stipple that on a little bit on my cheeks just to kind of brighten them up and bring in the pinky, but I don't want it to be anything super um, pink because the eyes are so bright. And then I'm going to take this gloss from Ulta. It's called Princess, and it's just real. I already have it on right now. Um, it's just this real light, shimmery shade. I think it kind of brings in 
the lips, but it doesn't make anything super pink because the eyes are so dramatic. I don't want to add too much pink. I just want pink tones on my lips and my cheeks. So that is my pink and black look. I I think it'd be fun to wear this out. I kind of want to find a place to go out with right now. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and I really hope you like it. Thanks. Bye.